Hello folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Now what is the opposite of giant food? That's right, mini food. Uh, I haven't done mini food for so, so long. Uh, so today we're gonna do some mini chicken nuggets. The size of your tears, hopefully. Let's give it a go. That's right then guys, as you know with mini food, the aim is to make uh, the dish the size of this plate, which is about the size of a normal coin. So uh, let's get our chicken nuggets on the go. So what I've got is uh, some fine breadcrumbs right here. This does look like a shot of orange juice, but that is actually some beaten egg. Uh, so we've got some tweezers, scissors, and a bamboo skewer. These are both clean uh, and only used for the purposes of mini food, folks. That is dedication right there. Okay, so right here are some mini uh, chicken fillets. I've got some water that's nearly coming to the boil. I'm just simply gonna poach that uh, so it's cooked through for about 10 minutes and then we'll cut it up mini size, baby. Right, here we go, guys. I'm just cutting very roughly uh, into my chicken, my poached chicken, so nice and tender like that. That's the benefit of poaching it, as I say. So I'm just gonna cut it into nice little chunks like this to make our mini nuggets. So we should have a big old pile of chicken any minute now. Alrighty then guys, that'll do. Nice big pile, or big mini pile, of chicken pieces. Let's take our tweezers and uh, get a piece of chicken and dunk it into our egg, <laughs> like so. Nice. All right, so I'm just gonna drop that on there like so. Uh, use my bamboo skewer to push it around to get some nice breadcrumbs on it. To get it nice and coated, just like a standard chicken nugget. I'm just gonna repeat that to every single one of these chunks of chicken. All right, just placing down my last one, done a nice little batch for now. It does kind of look like a crazy breakfast cereal, but I think we're ready for frying. So with this step, folks, I'm just heating up my oil uh, like you fry anything. Be really careful, because if you get hot oil on yourself, even mini size, it's gonna hurt you. So these are gonna go in there once it's nice and hot. I hope this works. Here we go then, folks, the moment of truth. Got the standard slotted spoon. They're just big enough so they won't fall through the gaps. Uh, let's lower them into some hot oil. Here we go. Uh. All right, looking good so far. They're just wobbling around the pan as they go. The heat on the oil is a little lower because I've got a bit more control of it then to get the color right. So nearly ready now. So I've got the spoon ready to sort of bring them out. In fact, looking at that golden color, let's pop them out right now. And I'll tell you what, folks, I am really happy with that color. I'm just gonna repeat that over and over until we've got loads of mini nuggets. Gonna be brave here, here we go. <laughs> so here we go then folks, our plate of freshly made uh, chicken nuggets. I've actually got double that amount left over anyway and that was just like from half a fillet. And for scale purposes, uh, here's a grape just sat alongside it like that. I think the only way to eat these is in a shot glass. Yeah baby. Okay folks, so I've got them in a shot glass uh, right here. A little bit of barbecue sauce in there for some lubrication. Down the hatch it goes. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -mm. Shiver me timbers. That was absolutely stonkingly gorgeous, guys. So fresh as well. And randomly, just like the other mini foods, surprisingly filling indeed. And the cool thing is, I've even got dessert. I've got my grape right here. So if you haven't seen the other mini foods, check out the playlist and let me know if there's other mini foods that you want to see me make. And I'm just going to have this right now. I'll see you next time. Mmm. It was great.